In the age of technology, we're witnessing something remarkable. Around the world, species that were once thought gone or long absent from certain regions are being seen again thanks to camera traps and remote recording devices. Sometimes it's a few seconds of grainy footage. At other times, it's a series of pictures. And sometimes all we get is a recording of a distant yet familiar sound. But for scientists, even that can change everything. In this video, we're taking a look at five animals that have managed to survive against the odds, quietly enduring in forgotten corners of their range. The Gobi Bear is one of the rarest mammals on Earth. Only about 30 individuals of this brown bear subspecies are thought to survive in the world, all in the arid deserts of southwestern Mongolia. The small range of the Gobi Bears was believed to be entirely restricted to Mongolia's Great Gobi strictly protected area. But in 2015, one collared bear was documented briefly crossing the border into China's Xinjiang region, where it stayed for over a month before returning to Mongolia. This was the first confirmed record of a Gobi Bear in China, but all they had was the tracking collar data. Over the coming years, Locals in Xiamaya Township reported several possible sightings, though again, photographic and video evidence was never taken, and the bear's ongoing presence in China couldn't be confirmed. It wasn't until August of 2024 that a research team from the Chinese Academy of Forestry finally managed to capture clear photos and video of a Gobi bear in Yiwu County making this the first visual, verified record of the subspecies inside China. For scientists, it was evidence that this critically endangered population is still dispersing, and that parts of the old Gobi habitat south of the border remain suitable. The giant munchak, also known as the large antlered munchak, is one of the most remarkable large mammals discovered in modern history. Despite being the largest species of muntjac deer, it was entirely unnoticed by science until 1994, when biologists working in the rugged mountains of Laos and Vietnam described it for the first time. The discovery was astonishing. The fact that a terrestrial animal of this size could remain unknown to science into the late 20th century spoke to how little was known about the region's wildlife. Since then, the species has mostly been recorded from the dense, isolated forests of the Annamite Range that straddles Laos and Vietnam, where it moves quietly through some of the last untouched tropical highlands in Southeast Asia. For many years, its presence in neighboring Cambodia was only speculation. The country shares much of the same mountain chain yet surveys repeatedly failed to find any solid evidence of this animal's presence. But that changed in 2021, when a camera trap deep within Virache National Park captured the first clear photographs of a giant munchak inside Cambodia. The images showed a solitary male walking through a closed canopy forest, and it was a landmark moment for the country's conservation community. Since then, Additional surveys in Virace have revealed even more promising signs. Camera traps have recorded multiple individuals, including a fawn, confirming that the species is not only present, but breeding within the park, making Virace the only known home for the giant munchak within Cambodia. Ledbetter's possum is a small nocturnal marsupial that was described in 1867. For decades, it was known only from a handful of specimens collected in Victoria's lowland swamps, the last taken in 1909. When those wetlands were drained for farming in the early 1900s, the species quietly vanished, and by the time the Black Friday fires tore through the region in 1939, most biologists were certain that it had gone extinct. But in 1961, a 
a small possum was seen darting through mountain ash forest near Camberville in Victoria's Central Highlands, and it was soon confirmed to be a surviving Leadbetter's possum, the first seen in over half a century. Conservation efforts meant that by the 1980s, numbers had climbed to an estimated 7,500 animals, but the recovery didn't last. The Black Saturday fires of 2009 had a devastating effect on the species, destroying nearly half of its remaining habitat and cutting the wild population down to around 1,500 animals. It was feared that only one more natural disaster was all it would take to wipe the species out. But in October 2025, something incredible happened. In Kosciuszko National Park, New South Wales, hundreds of kilometers north of where the last of the species were known to survive, camera traps captured seven photos of a small possum on the forest floor. The images, which were taken over the span of only 10 seconds, showed every distinguishing feature. The distinctive tail, the facial markings, and the overall proportions. This was a Leadbetter's possum. Experts at the Australian National University and Zoos Victoria verified the photos, confirming the first ever record of the species in New South Wales. And the discovery has renewed hope that this critically endangered marsupial may be more resilient and widespread than was once believed. The European wildcat once roamed across much of Europe and westernmost Asia, and the Iberian Peninsula once had a strong population. But in Portugal, the species has been absent for decades. Habitat loss, hunting, and the spread of domestic cats pushed the species to the edge of extinction within the country, and by the early 2000s, it was feared to have disappeared entirely. Only scattered reports and unverified sightings hinted that a few might still survive in areas along the Spanish border. In recent years, rewilding has become one of Europe's most promising conservation strategies. It's focused not just on protecting species, but on restoring the natural processes and habitats that they depend on. In 2019, a 120,000 hectare rewilding site between the Douro River and the Malcata Mountains in northern Portugal was established. The Greater Coa Valley Rewilding Site is now a place that gives the country's rare and declining wildlife somewhere to thrive once again. The project has worked to restore native vegetation, revive prey populations, and reduce human pressures across a network of connected landscapes. And in 2024, a remarkable recovery was recorded. A camera trap within the Greater Coa Valley recorded a European wildcat moving through the restored woodland. The footage was later verified by the Portuguese Institute for Nature Conservation and Forests, confirming the presence of this native predator in the region for the first time in decades. By rebuilding natural corridors, rewilding is helping European species to flourish once again in parts of the continent where they've been missing for generations. Jordan's courser is one of the rarest and most mysterious birds on the planet. It was first described in 1848 from the dry scrublands of India's Andhra Pradesh. But by the early 20th century, it had completely vanished from scientific record. For more than 80 years, not a single confirmed report of the species surfaced. The only clue that it might have persisted came in 1917, when a single egg collected near the Kolar goldfields was later confirmed to belong to the species. It wasn't until 1986 that another confirmed record would come. A local trapper working with the Bombay Natural History Society captured a live bird near the village of Redepale, on the edge of Sri Lanka Malaswara Wildlife Sanctuary. It was the first confirmed sighting since the 19th century, the rediscovery made headlines around the world and immediately drew attention to the fragment of scrub habitat that had somehow kept this critically endangered bird alive. In the years that followed, only a few more sightings were made. 
and Jordan's courser remained one of India's least understood birds. Researchers managed to photograph it just a few times and to record its soft two-note call, which became the best way to detect its presence in the wild. But as the surrounding landscape continued to change, being cleared for farmland and infrastructure, the bird again slipped out of sight. The final confirmed record came in 2004, when a single Jordan's courser was recorded calling from a hidden spot in the tall brush. It was later added to Rewild's list on their search for lost birds, as one of the top 10 most wanted missing species, and I covered it in one of the earliest videos on my channel. For more than 20 years, the species remained missing. But just recently, in August of 2025, a team of bird watchers and sound recordists working in the Lankamala Hills of Andhra Pradesh detected what many had long been hoping for. Late at night, their equipment picked up a faint yet distinct two-note whistle. <laughs> they had rediscovered Jordan's courser. Further analysis confirmed the recording, and while no photo or video of an animal was captured, the audio alone provided an incredible sign of hope that this rare and elusive bird is still surviving in the wild spaces of Andhra Pradesh. And that's it for this week's video. Which of these stories made you feel the most hopeful about the future of wildlife? Let me know in the comments below. And I want to thank my friend Hitendra, who helped me with the pronunciation of the various Indian locations. He happens to teach Hindi here on YouTube, so if you're interested in learning a bit of Hindi, go check out his channel. I also want to say a special thanks to my patrons. Without their ongoing support, I wouldn't be able to make a video like this every week. If you want to support the channel, consider joining us on Patreon. The link is in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.